Okay, I'm, I'm going to demonstrate how to make the tetrahedron. First, you've got to make one of these little shapes up. Okay. You do that by taking the end of one and just twisting. And then you grab the, the next two and you twist. You grab the next two and you twist and you get something like that. And later we're going to take the last one off. All right, we're leaving it there for now, just for to make it more stable during construction. Um, what did I do? Okay, so I made one of those. Now you make another long string of them, and the, basic, the only reason to do that is because you need a lot of these little triangles, and that sort of holds the triangle in place for you. Now, now a, if you do that, this triangle is the opposite polarity to this triangle. So if you, you've got to keep turning this over to get the same polarity. Alright. Now, you've got to kind of be in tune with the force here. I'm going to feel it. And it wants to grab, let go. If it doesn't want to grab, turn it over and take the other one. Now when you turn that over like that, um, it, want, it wants the opposite polarity here, so that's convenient. You can just leave this the same way. Now that didn't grab good. Then you turn it over, and you feel for it grabbing. It's a bit hard to do, all right? You might have to try that a few times before that works. All right, so what you end up with is one of these, with the polarities are a certain, a certain way. Now, as I said before, I'll take that one off. I'm gonna spin this around and click it on the opposite corner. So now, Like that. Right. Now, again with the threes, put another th three onto here, the sticking up one. And it's just a bit tricky, you've got to let it expand out like that. And another three. And you feel for the grab. Yep, I'll let it expand out like that. Now you got this thing. All right, it sort of just doesn't seem much like a tube. It's not. It is a tube, but it's not that good. Now you lose little groups of four. All right. Listen, you want to join like that. Hold on. You want the join like this. Now I haven't done. Uh, hang on, I'll put that on the wrong side. Oh, cut that off. Put it on the same side. You're just putting a little, like you're putting in like a diamond with the point going into the little valley that was there. Right, and you have this. And this is the basic thing. We, we'll later we'll put another little ball right in there. But first, I deliberately haven't made sure this is the right polarity, it might not be. So I'll take another one. Now if it's wrong, yeah that's see how it joins? They should join, that's the wrong one. They should join like this. Okay. And this one, it joins opposite. Now, there are various ways you can fix that, you can just make another one. So you can, you can take one row off the top, but I find that Surprisingly enough, the easiest way is to dismantle it. Get that shape. It's sort of instructive as well. And then turn it back the other way and the polarity will be reversed. Now I've got to not look at this through the camera. It's not that hard to do. And now they should all be the same way. And now remember I said we're going to put a little ball in there? So that's what we're going to do. That'll be the inside of the corner. There we go. And now we've got our all six parts. And now, just put them together point to point. Three of them go together. So be careful about it, but they just go. That looks like. Right, nice and strong. I've just done something silly here. Squeeze too hard and the balls went in. Now, the next last one, 
Oh, I'm sorry, the third last one. Those on, but they still have to join two. So oh, I haven't got a ball in that little hole there, have I? Oh dear. This might be hard to fix this. Oh no, there it goes. We'll see. Mm. Now that one ought to join there. It really wants to grab. Now the next one goes here. And then the last one, oh, have I just done that off camera, I'm sorry. And the last one, it's because I've kind of got to concentrate on it. And then the last ball joins a little triangle there, and then they go in. And there you have it. Easy as pie. I'm going to show a more generalizable form of this, this same technique. As long as you've got an even number of of, of um, you know the little triangles, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you can make them into a chain. It has to be even because the polarity keeps changing each each, um, each triangle. And then you can do this. You can add and feel for the force again. You've got to go all Luke Skywalker on it. Make sure you get the right thing. You get a little square on it like that. Okay, and then you can just go along to the... Well, I'll go to the opposite one because... Uh, see what I've, what I've just done. I've wrecked it up. Here's me fixing it. Okay. Now I'll go to the... Um, the neighbouring one. A little triangle. I'm going to keep my finger inside. If you don't keep your finger inside, these little triangles want to come together, or the points of the diamonds. Do it again. You can let the points of the diamonds come together, and it makes a really cool shape. I'm trying to demonstrate the tube. Do that at first, you just get a little square like that. Oh. And feel for the polarity. Put it in. Take another square. Feel for the polarity. Another square. Now the because I'm constantly putting in little loops. The um, polarity at the edges is, is the same. You turn over and it feels the same. Which is a great advantage when you're making tubes because it means you can make um, tubes with... Uh, so when you're making frames of things because it means you can make frames with an odd number of um, of, of edges to each side. So most of my frames are squares because it's easy to make squares. Right, so you can make a tube like that. Now I could I could put them together and make a nice rounded end. I'll do that on one end. You make a nice little knobby looking thing. And on the other end, I'll show that you can you can build it up. And what you can see here is that this can this can go as long or as and as fat as you want. It's an arbitrarily long and arbitrarily fat technique. Okay, so you could um, keep adding squares. Trouble, trouble just flicking off squares like that is that they don't tend to get into and the polarities need to sort of stabilize before they um, before you put them on, so that they, they, it, it's like they're little loops or something. But you try different things. You, you put three together with that, that are just like this, and then you see what the gap looks like. And then you make some more with a piece that fills that gap in it. It might just have to be like this or something.
like but that, that's sort of hard to do but yeah but there you have it that could be any even number wide and it's like um, say, say your mode loops like this. You should see his thing, not like that, that, but different. Yeah, the polarity on this side is going this way. If you turn it over, the polarity is still going that way. Well, that's roughly what you've got. You've got little squares that you're turning over. When you finish turning it over, the polarity remains the same. What it means is that as long as you've made them all the same, you can put, put them together in any shape you want and then they'll match at the edges. There you have it. Here's a, a couple of things you can make with it. That's the tube I just made a, a few moments ago, I think. Um, that's made with a four, four squares. Right, and then I just folded them together. Look in. You can't fold that in because I haven't done it right. This is made with a five, five points. And I just fold it. So it means there were ten of those little triangles in the ring. I think you. What? He'll come back. Open the door for me. No, I thought we could come back. This is the little three one. This makes a little bullet shape. So they're they're kind of cool. Different little things. I will come and watch there you go. Now what I'm about to try and make, I'm making a long tube, that's a flexible tube too, I never really realised that before. Yeah, I'm going to make that long enough to make, it, make a tube. It's different from the other tube in that the polarity at this end is the same as the polarity at that end. That's the snake tube that I made before. So I could potentially leave out a little square here and it would all stay apart as well. But I'm not going to do that because... Um, I might be wrong. <laughs>